until believers are transformed and receive a breakthrough in their situations. Kojic has eight prayer traditions. First, prayers in concert are individual prayers that the saints pray aloud while gathered together at church. Second, altar prayers are often prayers of repentance rendered usually following the sermon at the altar. Third, prayer lines are lines which ministers often offers intercessory prayers on the behalf of the persons who stand before them, especially those who are seeking various prayer needs and physical healing. Fourth, pastoral prayers are prayer requests and prayers of thanksgiving that the pastors publicly lift up unto God. Fifth, prayer meetings are times when Christians withdraw from their daily routines to spend time in prayer at church. A believer may join in with others, praying for an hour or more daily. Sixth, personal prayer times are times believers designate to pray in their homes. Seventh, tarrying is when saints wait before God in prayer. And eighth, the consecration or shut-in is when the local church family gather together for an extended time of prayer, fasting, and continuous worship before the Lord. Roman numeral two, tarrying is a distinctive type of prayer practiced by Kojic churches around the globe. As a Christian practice, tarrying has undergirded the Kojic experience of conversion, sanctification, and the baptism in the Holy Ghost for decades. Whereas other Christian traditions promoted the mourner's bench, Kojic has embraced tarrying. The term tarrying comes from Luke 24, 49, where Jesus is speaking prior to his ascension into heaven. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Kojic has taken the command of Jesus as a pattern for all who are waiting and praying before the Lord for his empowerment. During tarrying, the seeker calls out to God at the altar while altar workers offer their prayers of support and encouragement. As a prayer form, tarrying is a way of calling on the Lord. In tarrying, the seekers are instructed to forget about those who are around them, block out all other things, and totally focus their minds on God. The altar workers encourage the seeker to yield totally to God. It is during the time of tarrying that many are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Roman numeral three, fasting. Fasting functions as a pivotal spiritual discipline within the Church of God in Christ. The saints practice various kinds of fasting. Historically, the Church of God in Christ has selected Tuesdays and Fridays as fast days. Fasting is a regular commitment of congregations and or individuals and is held for different durations depending upon the discretion of the leader. Some practice total abstinence fasting, which involves abstaining from all food and drink for an extended period of 24 to 78 hours. Others practice partial fasting, which is abstaining from food but drinking water or juice from seven to 40 days. Fasting is interpreted as a disciplining of the body and a means to prepare to be used more effectively by God. Roman numeral four, congregational songs. 
The singing of congregational songs shapes Kojic profoundly. The melodies of congregational songs were rooted in traditions of slavery in African songs. They range from upbeat, polyrhythmic sounds to heartbeat, uh, encompassing sounds from mournful sounds to soothing and mellow sounds. Today, the organ, drum, piano, wind, and string instruments, along with hand clapping, foot stomping, and tambourine playing, all make up the robust sounds of congregational songs. The lyrics of the songs are often forms of personal testimonies. I'm a soldier. Jesus said if you go, God is a good God. Put your time in. If I couldn't say a word, other songs such as My Soul Loves Jesus, Yes Lord, and All Day are categorized as both personal testimonies and prayer chants. Through these songs, Kojic parishioners pray, testify, praise, and rededicate their lives to God. Roman numeral five, testifying. Kojic congregations offer people opportunities to testify of God's goodness. In testimonies, parishioners recount their spiritual journeys, telling them within narrative form. Testimonies usually begin with a sentence such as, first, giving honor to God in the highest, followed by acknowledgement of the leadership of the local church. Second, parishioners highlight their spiritual status by professing their relationship with God. I thank the Lord that I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, and that with a mighty burning fire. Afterwards, they testify, make known specifically what God has done for them. They often close with a profession of dedication to God and phrases soliciting the saints to pray that they will be the one the Lord is calling for in these last and evil days. Six, praise. The Kojic understands praise to be multifaceted. People are taught to praise God with words and phrases such as hallelujah, glory, glory to God, praise you, Jesus, and praise God. They are taught to praise God through the clapping hands based on Psalm chapter 47. They are taught to praise God in dance, Psalm 154, which is literally a dance form in the spirit. Also, the Church of God in Christ praises God with a joyful sound, Psalms 101, which is a form of praise entitled shouting or the shout. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Psalms 47.1. These acts communicate one's adoration, gratitude, devotion, and thanksgiving to God. Roman numeral eight, consecration or shut in. Kojic congregations and ministries often set aside a specific time to be set apart in continuous wor worship, praise, prayer, and testimony, a two to three day time period. In a congregational consecration, also known as a shut-in, the people of God set aside a time when they will be continuously shut in the church. At this time, the people of the Lord are seeking a breakthrough in their situations and needs and asking God for deliverance. As the shut-in continues, the Spirit of God anoints many with a prayer, a song, or a word from the Lord. Many Kojic churches had their beginnings, and many people of the Lord have been healed and set free as a result of this powerful time of special dedication to the Lord. It is this primary set of Kojic distinctives that we as Kojic believers see as both our foundation and the focus of our future. We will continually be people of prayer, 
tarrying, fasting, congregational singing, testifying, praise, and consecration. <laughs> 